test these babies out. The trailblazers back in the morning. Look at this Early morning, yesterday we tried to actually turn on the perlita, but it got late and we didn't want to mess with it. So today we brought the tools. Oscar just pulled out the radiator on this one. He already pulled out the radiator on the perlita. So basically the perlita had to bust the radiator from OTM. I think that's what that's when it was, right? One hour later. Much, much later. It just needs gas, way. <laughs> so from OTM, we busted the radiator, and the reason why there's no engine in here, which is a side story, is because we weren't happy with the power it was producing. So we were guessing that there was something wrong inside the motor. So we pulled it apart and we're basically going through the whole motor making sure nothing's wrong inside which we think something's wrong we think bearings is wrong something small is gonna be off so that being said sent it out to a machine shop getting it worked on again nothing major like i said it's just mainly to get the horsepower that we needed to get out of there so we had to send it off and make sure everything's right in there but we'll be getting that pretty soon. But since we got that going on, we're gonna get the perlita on. We're actually gonna do some experimenting with la perlita because we're actually gonna build the old motor from the blue for la perlita. But for the meantime, we bought another 5.3 block and we're gonna swap over all the parts from this engine to the 5.3 block, basically make it run. But as of now, we're gonna try to run it all the way to Oscars and have a little bit of fun, see if it blows up on the way there. If it does, it's gonna throw our plan out of proportion because uh we're gonna use a little bit of interior stuff for the new 5.3 but if it doesn't then we know all the parts inside that motor are good so it's just gonna be straight slap on uh the only reason we're doing that is because the motor has a crack in it and that crack is causing the truck to overheat and that's why an otm it, it was overheating really bad i don't know how it didn't blow up the only thing that went wrong that day is we ran out of gas so <laughs> i know what's wrong with it ain't got no gas in it <laughs> that's what issue we came on and we're about to go pump gas and have some fun in it. Is that who's bigger or what? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, was in a Ford Lobo. We didn't realize that the blue has the big radiator and the Perlita had the small one, so now we have to come buy a brand new one. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Uh, we're at AutoZone. We're gonna give him a little shout out. Had it in stock, so uh, we don't have to do no waiting because the other spot has it for 50 bucks cheaper, but we would have to wait till 3 p.m. and we ain't trying to wait all that. We ain't wake up early to do all that. My boy doesn't got backing up skills. Oh, you're holding the camera next to the mirror so I can't see. So we're gonna get one of these so every time he gets itchy. <laughs> oh, this shit tickles. <laughs> yeah? This shit don't feel right. Look, look, this shit don't feel right, dude. I'm not gonna let you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on, watch out, dude. Hey, hold on. Show them what y'all bought. We got the 28 inch and a quarter radiator. That's what we need right there. Yes, sir. This is the smaller one that we didn't have. And man, cool ass people here. They price match. So, y'all didn't know how to some price match. They do. Alright, guys. So, we just made it back. We got the right size radiator, which is a 28 by one quarter, right? Yeah. Straight slap on. We got custom brackets holding it. What are those called again? The ties. Yeah, custom. Where'd you get those at? Man, I can't tell you all that, boy. Oh, you got them color match too. I see. Yeah, yeah, color, color match. match. Color match. Pearl white. Mm. Gotta be perlita color or no color. And then, of course, turbo kit came off the exhaust. Crank's right out. How's it looking? Yeah, that looks good. Try to be ready to go take it around, see how it does. That hasn't been started since OTM. I'm it up with water right now. Hey, y'all want to see the Honda versus the Perlita or what? You want to see it? I don't think Oscar knows how to ship, but I'll, I'll let him give it a try, you know? Uh, I know for a fact this I'm about to walk the Honda. This is where we up letting Oscar drive. 
Right now I'm gonna have to remind them, don't hit first gear, don't hit second gear, don't hit it at all, just let me win, you know? Like, never had something that fast, guys, so I gotta give them, I gotta give them a, a little break here. Driving over here trying to get some gas, and guess who we passed up on the way over here? Tell them, huh? What was it? There's a little bit of purple in it. I give y'all another hit. The other side was gray. Now, JC passed by with the Trailblazer. He finally got it turned on again. We finally got it back up and running. We we're waiting on some stuff for it. That's why it's been so long. The stuff didn't go as planned with it. We just saw him drive by. He doesn't know we're about to go test these babies out. But uh, we're gonna see what La Perlita got and we're gonna see what the hatch got. It's gonna be a fun little race. The only thing I will say is Oscar ain't as good as the racer with the Honda as I am. What you gotta say, Oscar? What I gotta say? I don't know. I might have to show you how to shift because you. Hey, two rules. Don't miss a gear. <laughs> don't don't power shift. So use the clutch. So you don't want it. So that you and don't hit, for... and don't hit it on first because it's too much spinning. So, uh, so, so you don't want me to win, okay? I, I'll let you win. I won't power shift. Nah, <laughs> I just don't power shift on that because you know that fucking that clutch. The clutch. And expensive. The clutch will handle it. Man, still, uh, that's an expensive clutch. And we don't want to open up the transmission and all that, so we're just gonna avoid the first gear pull on it. So we're not gonna do a dig. We'll do some rolls and what? what 20, 30, and then 35. Whatever we can get before uh, the deer show up. Hey, but let's do a uh, like a. That's just for the meantime, we're about to go pick up the motor right now in a little bit and we're gonna take that motor to Nickens and tell Nickens what we want on that. So for the meantime, basically, it's still gonna be a 5.3 on the turbo, so we can run it for the meantime, but we will be having a 6.2 getting built. So whenever we do get it back, we're probably gonna twin turbo the truck instead of single turbo. But we don't know yet. We might just leave that same turbo to see how that little turbo handles. But I do got the old setup for La Papaya and I've been wanting to figure out where to use it and it's probably gonna be going into here. But definitely, the truck got boss. Now I just gotta pop the radiator open and put a little bit of water in there and we're good to go. Man, we put this motor through some stress. Like the, the fact that oh, this thing's still- Oh shit. You broke your serpentine belt. It was ripping apart. Oh shit. It got caught on or what? Nah, it just ripped from all the horse puppies. That or this? Those you don't think it's Nah. You can tell it moved over. See? Just something slight. I just can't believe this truck is still running. Yesterday we thought we were gonna have to use the jump box and what? We got there and literally Turn start, started like no other. So it's pretty fucking crazy that this truck is still running. Like I, I just can't believe. That being said, we're just gonna open this motor up. We're gonna take all the internal stuff out. 
put into a new block and yeah pretty much basically the only thing wrong with this thing is it overheat because that cracked under the block and we're gonna take care of that yeah we gotta put water but we're not touching this for a little while look at it you want to see it pop no there, I don't. here look i'll open it get closer Man, that shit feels hot. You wanna pop it off? Yeah, well, actually, you know what? That's... What you gonna do? <laughs> Keep my damn distance. Hey, watch out, don't, don't get burned now. That shit fucking. <laughs> I didn't grease my shoes. Jeez. <laughs> bro, I've been walking all over my toes like this <laughs> for like four weeks, bro, there's and you just creeped. Javier to come out here to JC shop, tune the truck up, and then we can start driving it everywhere. Start advertising it a little bit more. Everything's gonna be smooth after this. I like the way it's riding. It's pretty smooth. What y'all think? I like how it rides. It'd be a lot better if we were doing some donuts, huh? Yeah. But we're not gonna do that. Good it's not our truck. Hey, whenever we heard this thing driving by, it sounded really good, huh? Yeah, it does and it looks good. good. Purple and gray. Look really good going down the street. Y'all saw the smoking the perrita did with that broken ass motor. It walked my Honda. Unfortunately, the Honda couldn't keep up. And I will say we were spinning hard, but I will say the Honda was also spinning hard. All right, Oscar, what's it spinning? Yeah, it was spinning. But yeah, I heard spinning too. is winning. It is. Yeah, it is showing wires. We need. We just need to pick up some badass slicks that actually fit it. But it was great seeing that the Trailblazer's back and rolling. I'm gonna contact Mr. Mesa, see if Mr. Mesa can polish my wheels and have it fully detailed again and contact my boy that does the headliners if Don Vergas doesn't really have the time. We've been keeping Don Vergas busy, but if he has the time, he'll do the headliner. If he doesn't, my other buddy will do it. Regardless, it's gonna get done and it's gonna be fully finished and functional and we're ready to roll. Let's get this giveaway out the door. Make sure somebody's gonna win this. So make sure you go to the website, cop that merch, buy whatever you gotta buy. Stickers are the easiest way to get into this giveaway. This is gonna be a nice truck for anybody that doesn't own a nice truck yet or something with the cam. It's really nice. I don't wanna get rid of it. I'd rather y'all take the cash or I was offering a dog by itself, but I am gonna add $4,000 to the dog offer just in case anybody wants to start their dog business. I'm gonna give y'all a exotic ass dog and four thousand dollars cash or eight thousand dollars cash or she's right here she's yours whoever's gonna win this truck much appreciated for letting me borrow the truck to turn this sucker on so we can load up la papaya and y'all probably can't see it because it's pretty late at night we got some exciting things going on today the reason we're picking her up is because jr made a call javi from la blue made a call a couple other people made calls and guess what mr flaco said bring the papaya on monday so monday we will be bringing the papaya to flaco he's gonna try to finish it for truck nationals even though i'm gonna be out of town if it's finished hopefully jr fab is gonna take it to truck nationals and he's gonna be showing the truck i told him he could race it he might not want to race it i'm not too sure but hopefully the truck does make it that being said it's going to flaco so we can get all the wiring fixed up on it to where it turns on with the key and we get the two-step on it basically the whole holly system is going to be fully finished and then it's also going to be tuned by flaco everybody wants me to get tuned by flaco or, and we finally got it to happen so guess what monday the truck's over there we're gonna have it running and that's gonna be a live live video right there but let's mount it up because it's getting a little chilly out here Come on, bro. Pull on that sucker. That's just exactly why we're hitting the gym, guys. We need some upper body on them. Any call outs out there for basketball, man. We'll do any call outs right here. My boy Optical, he thinks he's Michael Jordan. So any call outs, I got money on them. So y'all pull up and let me know, hey, I want to I wanna 1v1 Optical and we're going to run that. What are you doing, bro? All right, guys, what y'all think? You think that's going to work? I think we can make it work, bro. I ain't going to yeah. lie. Right there, look. Nah, I don't know. It's not. Hey, but on the side note, you heard this stuff already? Oh, she's chopping nice. 
last time we drove it basically we left muffler time and he basically took care of all the exhaust leaks and this thing sounds nice but yeah let's go tie this sucker up get it on the trailer so we have it loaded and ready to go on monday I thought it was a twin turbo truck, not a lawnmower. Why? You out here cutting the grass. Oh, man. Awesome. Hey, if anybody needs a yard cut, man, just holler at me. All I gotta do is pull the papaya out. What's the fee? What's the fee? Uh, I don't know, something like that. Valen's probably gonna be like another 120 bucks, so. Damn. My labor, I don't know, like 300 bucks, plus gas money, if you don't mind. Sheesh. Sounds like the blue and la papaya need a Valen's. What well, they already did, Oh, so. yeah. We might as well. My boy Optical got me, it's okay. I'm glad I have a homeboy like him. He would take care of me. If, if my truck, look, right now I need a new tire. You got me? I got you. Oh, my nigga. <clears throat> hey, y'all hey, heard? Hey, y'all saw him shake on it. So if y'all see this on the flat again, y'all gonna play that dude, not me. <laughs> hey, look at the wiring. Oh, it, it ain't nothing crazy. It's just a spider nest. Anybody need a spider at their home? Let me know. I'll go drop it off right now. We're on the way to Flacco's, and we had to make a quick stop to clean out that titanium before we get it over to Flacco. So by the time Flacco does whatever he has to do to it, the titanium is clean, he gets to tune it. No, nothing gets printed onto the titanium. And now we just gotta find, what, the microfiber tells? What do you think it'll be? I don't know. Uh, let's see this. Hey, let me get some Pepto, bro, cause uh, you've been killing me in the truck. Chill, cuz. You need a cut, cuz. Hey, they said you need a new barber or what? Huh? They said. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've been busy, bro. I haven't been working. Working, working. What you doing? Clean that. Uh, we didn't find microfiber towels, so we had to improvise. I'm just hitting it like real gently. Yeah, that you don't want to scratch it. Scratches. Oh yeah, you can see that blue now, huh? Mm -hmm. Last time we showed it, I don't think it had that color. Nah, this is literally from me sitting there giving it gas. And I have a video of it, it's just real blurry. Oh, probably real? Show. It's gonna look like a dragon. My first picture of this at the track, I'll make sure I do a mean ass burnout. Basically make it pop, that way I get a sick ass picture of this thing. It's gonna look like a fucking dragon. Spinning fire, it, it looked crazy though. Whenever you actually get the flames out, I haven't even like really tried to get them out far, but I've at least seen them out like two, three feet. We just got them cleaned up. Once we get over there, Flacco's, we're gonna see if we got a little microfiber towel he can let us use. If not, we'll probably have one inside of there. But as of now, it's clean. We just gotta give it that last little touch. But we just wanted Flacco to see it looking right before we actually took it over there. But let's go ahead and ride out. We're sponsored by Walgreens, 70% rubbing alcohol. And they got us looking right, so oh, yeah. close this up. Yeah, so we just pulled up to Flacco's. He has some crazy stuff going on here. I like the way he, you see nothing but fast looking shit here. I ain't gonna lie, I'm excited. ¿Cuál es la de usted? La azulita, ¿ah? No. Oh, la de allá. Es la que corre like sixes, algo así, ¿ah? Threes. Threes? What is it, like an S10? S10? Yeah. Big block. Got all kinds. Dude, look at the turbo on that thing, bro. That's some crazy shit. That's some next level shit. Hopefully later on stuff. I'm not really into the small trucks. I've never gone fast in the small trucks, so we're gonna see what it is. That says it's pro charged. It looks like a cyclone. Mm -hmm. This one's for sure a cyclone. It is? Cyclone. Yeah. Those are super rare. I wonder what they're gonna do to that one. This one looks crazy. But yeah, let's unload the truck. It's pretty chilly out here. Unload it and then talk to them, see what we're gonna really be doing to it. 
All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this vlog. We just pulled up to Flacos. We're dropping this off. It's going to get worked on by him. He's going to be tuning it, taking care of the rest of the stuff that needs to get done, making sure it turns on by key. Basically, he's going to finish it all out on the Holly system. And then after that, we're ready to start working on who wants to raise, where we're going to take the truck, and we're going to keep working on it to make it look cleaner. Obviously, we got a lot of stuff planned for the interior. But that's going to cut it off, guys. Make sure you visit the website and enter for that giveaway. And see you on the next one.